Hi y'all, Dan here. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. It's early here in uh, Pinedale, Wyoming, where Rick and I spent the night. We actually got in yesterday morning, uh, really early, about five o'clock in the morning, and had breakfast, and then we came about nine o'clock here to the Sundance Motel, and uh, what a pleasant surprise. The lady here that does it all, uh, from cleaning the rooms to, to doing the reception, and and she does it all. But she, she brought us in, uh, let us check in really early at nine o'clock and, and we could get a little bit of rest. Drove around the town, lovely place, lovely place. And uh, went to the, uh, the Mountain Man Museum, which I highly recommend if you're here in Pinedale. And uh, we just took a very easy day. And today we're going to go about an hour and a half drive to the trailhead and get on the, the Big Sandy Trail and take on a section of the Wind River Range. So looking forward to the next few days as we are out on the trail again and uh, we'll bring you right along with us. So thanks for joining us. My lungs would say you're probably right. <laughs> hey, feeling? It is pretty. That's the big sandy river. Well, good morning. We're getting ready to start out on day two. Uh, looks like this is going to be a challenging day. We're going to go from here, which is uh, right behind me, is is the uh, big sandy lake, and then we're going to go back to the trail where it split. We came down here last night and uh, found a good campsite, 
on the north end of the lake, but we got to go back up to uh, to the sandy, big sandy loop, and catch that trail. And then we're, the first hurdle will be Jackass Pass, which is about a thousand foot climb, uh, just right off the bat. And then we get past that, and we go about a thousand feet down, and time to get Texas Pass, which is another about a thousand foot climb, but a little, a little less, a little more gradual than, uh, than Jackass Pass. Well, let's get on the trail. Thanks for joining me. First view of the ascent out of uh, our campsite. We've gone a half mile in distance and already 800 feet in altitude so I think I think Jackass Pass is probably aptly named but it sure is pretty okay you know, let's get back on it Well, we found a uh, campsite just down a side trail, and this is where we'll stop for the night. We're probably a quarter of a mile away from Lonesome Lake, about a half, about a hundred feet off this side trail. And, uh, this is our view for the night. Like for that for your backyard. And we're all set up over here. Last night we had a little bit of condensation and our tents were still a little damp when we set up camps. So we let them dry out a little bit before we put our stuff in. And now everything's in there. I'm thinking that I'm going to take a nap and then have some dinner and enjoy beauty of creation. Well, I'll bring you with me again tomorrow when we uh, start up the Texas Pass Trail. I'm sorry, <laughs> we'll start up the, the Texas Pass and uh, we'll be going up in between those mountains, get on the other side of the Cirque of the Towers and walk in front of there until we come to the Continental Divide Trail. So, really don't know where we'll stop tomorrow. Sort of looking at a three night, four day hike through this beautiful area.